Spangled Man. And we got plenty more coming up. Stay tuned. you've come to the right place. Tonight, we got the Los Angeles Clippers against the Los Angeles Lakers. Taking a look at the Lakers, they split the season series against these guys last season, two games apiece. Should be a good one tonight. David, thank you. And a total of six players out of action for tonight on the injured list. And for Kyle Kuzma, and, and a total of six players out of action for tonight. The, the basketball guys seem to be displeased. And now the Lakers starting group. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Anthony Davis is out there with JaVale McGee. And it's Rondo in at the point. And for the Clippers, Shamit Leonard are on the wing. Ivica Zubas is out there with Mo Hartless, and it's Beverly in at the point guard. No good from Zubats. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Now, here's Green. Inside. Here's Davis. Here's McGee. And the rejection by Zubats. Beverly looking around. The starting gate, opening night in the NBA, Brent. What are you most looking forward to? I just like to see who it is that, in terms of their competitive spirit right now, is coming out of training camp hungry. Let's see in the next couple weeks which team jumps out and which coaching staffs have done a great job preparing their, their team coming out of camp. Now, we know the teams can't fall off, Kevin. The talent will catch up. Other veteran teams may get themselves back into a rhythm. But coming out of training camp, how much more together are teams and teams that have made changes? What are they playing like? What's their chemistry? Let's, let's find out how they're going to play this mm -hmm. year. Now, here's Leonard. After the miss from JaVale McGee. And finished off by Leonard. Well, not much you can do to stop that. Leonard showing once again his physical prowess at the 10. The pass to McGee. Outside Davis. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. Clippers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Shamit the pass to Zubats. Here's Leonard. Jacks up a three. That one's a miss. His third shot of the game. He's made one of them. Lakers have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. It's tipped. The shot's good from McGee. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? Are you asking me, GA? I, I'm not sure. Now here's Beverly. That's to Shamit. Now Zubox. Shoots over McGee. And all of them win that time before dropping in. I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. The Lakers trick. Pass to LeBron. Up and in on the layup. Hard to stop LeBron from getting in that deep. So the size, the speed, the power, the position. Two more. Three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Six 
seconds on the shot clock. Beverly, the pass to Shannon. Offline with his three. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Passes it to LeBron. Count it. Good. LeBron's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, Anthony Davis, the number one overall pick back in 2012, a perennial all-star, six of his seven seasons in New Orleans with the Pelicans, where he averaged over 20 points per game. He is a superstar and one of the more rare birds in the league at his position to be able to do what he does. Now here's Rondo. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Rondo kicks to James. Here is McGee, and there's the pass to Davis. With the pushback. They shoot again. McGee's shot is off. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Beverly against Davis. Outside Leonard. Over LeBron, they get the rebound, Zubac, and they call the foul, so he's Sounds got good. the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And bring you look at the different ways that Davis can affect the game. What stands out to you most? Well, really his skill level, there's a lot of talk about how much he's grown as a shooter and playing in the half court but since he's come into the league kevin the, the skill that i admire most about ad is what he does in transition for him to get out on the break run and be a target and catch the ball at any position on the floor and know what to do with it that's an amazing thing for a guy his size Lakers have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first fourth. Pass to Caldwell Pope. A three. Rebound by Harold. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backfield. And the rebound goes to Howe. And that's why he's not a top option for them right now offensively. They still cannot trust him, even on those easy shots, Kevin. Now, here's Brad. Caldwell Pope outside. Leonard with the steal. And here comes Leonard, leading the fast break. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. Uh, and the claw at work, just one reason why he's always a threat to lead the league in steals. Jump starts the fast break there. Caldwell Pope outside. Here's Davis. No good. Shot missing. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Leonard, that's for two. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. He told me this was the kind of game he was going to have. I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Pass to Bradley. Howard with it. 104 left in the first quarter of the game. He dishes it to Davis, shoots over Zubac, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Well, we keep talking a lot about Anthony Davis and the fact that when he was a young player, he played the point guard position, and then all of a sudden grew like 60 inches to play center position. Uh, you see that skill set show up, now and again but really what you're seeing now about ad is his maturity in the game finding spots on the floor where he can absolutely be dominant and control any kind of offensive possession from wherever he is on the floor and that one falls for davis and at kentucky uh, davis mostly an interior point but he maintained brent all along he was capable of more than he showed in college there's no question about his skill set and in the nba the opportunity along with the 
transition of the NBA game, and especially the center position, seems to be coming along at the appropriate time to show all of his wares off, Kevin. And even though he's been nagged by injury for a few years, Brent Kawhi is still a top 2A threat when he's healthy. Well, the fact that Kawhi Leonard could move on from San Antonio, get to that Toronto team that needed just an extra push to do something in the Eastern Conference, especially with the absence of LeBron James. Kawhi Leonard absolutely dominated last year's playoffs and took Toronto to a championship. And now, for the first time, he's had the choice to continue his career somewhere. He's gonna do that back home in Los Angeles for the Clippers. It's interesting to see the rebirth of the Clippers, or actually maybe the actual birth of the Clippers, having Kawhi Leonard join this team along with Paul George, convincing him to come to town, and the start may be something special. And it's pretty immediate the impact that these two are going to make on the floor, especially on the defensive end. So they take the lead. Davis has got five points so far. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight, Kevin. Not an easy fellow to hold in check. Man, guarded by Breath. Man passes to Leonard. Leonard draws the double to the left side wing. Clock at four. And the Clippers miss again. Caldwell Pope on the wing. The baseline J off the mark. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Lakers lead by one. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Accepting the lights. Okay. Oh, no, 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 Dad. I need your help. What do you have in that cabinet? And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Jermichael Green. Then there's Harold. Then it's Williams. And it's Mann in at the shooting guard. They're the group out there for the Clippers starting the second quarter. Now Harold following the three-point attempt by Anthony Davis. This is a two Leonard. Outside, Green. The pass to Williams. A three ball. That shot off. Caldwell Pope with some nice deep. Fires for three. Kawhi Leonard with the rebound. The Clippers trail. At the elbow, Green. Count it. Green's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Clippers. Well, you see the improvement in terms of high-level playmaking, a great understanding of all the offensive scheme that Kawhi Leonard possesses. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. It's just a matter who can catch that moment. Now here's Leonard. He's coming off a 13-point game against Dallas. I felt like in that game, too, he was a man on a mission defensively, finishing up with four steals. It's an impressive feat. And you can tell he takes pride in that part of the game. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now here's Williams, guarded close. Man, guarded by Breath, got that bucket. The Lakers in the lead. Cook looking it over. Dishes it to Bradley. Lakers working the ball around now. And they double up Davis. Back to Cook. Four on the clock. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Offensive rebound. Here's Howard. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Howard's got the lead up to three now for the Lakers. 
Yeah, not easy trying to keep Howard off the offensive boards. He excels at using his muscles and his size to get great position. Yep, that one goes. Williams has got his first basket of the night. Brent, if you were building an offensive system from scratch, what would be your favorite style of play? I would really tend to lean on three guards that could handle the basketball. Okay, guys who can initiate plays from all over the floor and really look to find players that are, are smart about playing off the ball. You combine three of those guys with the skill set, so one has it and the other two are maneuvering around. They're going to cause so much commotion. They're going to cause uh, so many breakdowns defensively within a possession that a, a multitude of playmaking players that would be tremendous. And all of those guys, yeah, but all those guys too, Kevin. On top of that, we talked about their physical nature and stature. I would want guys that are six six, six seven, and long because when you get back to the other end, you want them to be able to coordinate and take up enough room defensively to cause some problems. But Man, three guards, three long guards, and, and this is something that Phil Jackson relied on during the years when they won championships yes, in Chicago. He always looked for long guards, aside from Jordan and Pippen. There was the Ron Harpers of the world that helped accentuate what they could do on the perimeter. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And the bright lights of L.A., perhaps too much for some players. You know what, Greg? <laughs> for LeBron James. This guy thrives in the spotlight. The Lakers crafting a roster to satisfy his championship ambitions. Off the court, the City of Angels perfect for maximizing his business aspirations. That free throw missing. Well, even with all of the impressive number of seasons under his belt, LeBron James retains this kind of remarkable drive and competitive spirit. Good on the second free throw. Tremendous amount of excitement around the Clippers right now, and why not? Two elite players that can play both sides of the floor. They were already talented and scrappy. You just wonder if this group, with some of the additions and subtractions, can come together in the same way that last year's group showed the type of cohesion that a team that wants to perform at elite levels needs to do. Posing in on four minutes play here in the second quarter. Rondo looking around. Pass to McGee. He kicks it to James. 14 feet away. Another shot. The shot's good from McGee. McGee's got his second basket of the game. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Back to Harrell. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Brent, over the last few years, the Clippers have had to replace True Star. Pretty amazing with Chris Paul, DeAndre Jordan, and Blake Griffin not being in Clipper uniforms how the organization has turned it around in such a short span to have the opportunity that it has in front of them now to go further than what those three guys provided for so many years in Los Angeles. That's good from here. The compliment that Harold gets often is the fact that he's just so tireless a worker and that energy is something that both coaching staffs and teammates appreciate. Alex Caruso is checked in for Caldwell Pope. Now here's James. He's got five. Great tee that time from Green. I'll be honest, I thought there's no way that he's missing that close. That's a bunny. Give it up for the aggressive defense, Kevin. Here's LeBron. Battles through traffic and lays it in. James has got the lead up to five now for the Lakers. It's pretty much all you can do. You throw your hands up, you try to get in his way, and it's still not enough. And again, the Clippers turn it over. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Clippers. On Thursday, they'll be taking on Clay Thompson and the Golden State Board. And then on Saturday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. 
and you know nobody loves playing on the road but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of this team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of game here's green following the basket by lebron james tries to keep it alive and it goes out of bounds touched by green well, that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another not on the same page Zubat is checked in for green last game for the Lakers it was a loss to the Warriors 136 left in the first half that one's good the Laker lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Beverly and it's Rondo with the ball for the Lakers And that's going to be too many steps against the whistle on the travel. And here's a look at the stats for Rajat Rondo. A very nice season for him last year. Averaged about nine points a game last year. Eight assists and five rebounds. And he's done his share of the work for the team. Definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around. And he's not letting the team down. Oaks one up, and it's Beverly missing. Man, how about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Lakers shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. First free throw is good. No good on the second free throw. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. That bucket in in no time at all. Beverly's got five. Well, there's some confidence right now in Patrick Beverly's game. He's got the green light, and that time took a little bit of a quick opportunity and nailed it. And he gets the bucket. Nine points for LeBron. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Passes to Hart. To the paint, Harold. McGee with the block. And here we go, fast break. LeBron's got it. And the dunk by James. LeBron James out, sprinting up the floor, his 16th season, still getting after it. Rondo against Beverly. The dish to here. Now here's Harkless. Fires at the elbow. He doesn't hit that one. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway. This one. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They were able to squeeze ahead. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few weeks. through this one plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far you look at james what a contribution well we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break he was scoring with ease in that first half yeah just way too easy out there and i'm sure coach is going to make that a priority at half time. so the lakers five right now Green and Rondo in the backcourt. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. And it's McGee, and at the five, home in the paint. Well, that is what he does, just deadly beyond the arc. Green is one of those guys you cannot afford to leave for a second. Here's Leonard. McGee with the block. And this has been an outstanding display on the board, and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game, doing the dirty work down low. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possession. 
That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Now Beverly, five points in the game, just four to shoot. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Harkless. Well, it's the golden age of point guards and Patrick Beverly trying to show that he belongs amongst them. Great awareness on that play. LeBron kicks to run. McGee against Zubac. James outside. Over in the corner, Green. Over Leonard. And he can't bank that one in. It's tipped. And here is Shim. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. The pass to Zubas. Now here's Harkless. Shannon with it. James covers. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Zubas. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got six rebounds here tonight. And a huge piece of the Tobias Harris trade last year, Brent. Landry Shannon shows a lot of promise. Hey, interesting for Lambeau, as they call him, at age 22 out of Wichita State to come into the league, show his ability to shoot from the three-point line, shot 40% from deep while taking over four a game last year, seemed very comfortable in seeking out the line. And the opportunity for him, now with the star power around him, a lot more is going to open up for Landry Shamit to be a third or fourth guy on the offensive end to make some major your contribution. Green passes to Davis. It's hauled in by the Clippers. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Here's Leonard. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Leonard's got seven points in the game. Very easily could have been an one there. Leonard takes the contact and still maintains the focus to make the score. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. There's a lot of talk, Brent, about eliminating division, something that's been discussed. I think that's going to happen. I, I don't understand what the divisions are, do you? Oh, I mean, no. I, we don't pay attention to the divisions. We don't pay any attention to the divisions. It's all about conference. And we know that uh, divisions end up helping with, in some ways with uh, the playoff seedings, but it just seems strange today to have the divisions the way they are divided up. I think it helps when you're opening up a fish wrap in the morning if you check, <laughs> if you check a traditional newspaper, but otherwise, it could be something that, that goes away soon. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, guys, one of the things that the NBA has been forward thinking about is always accepting new ideas. They've got a bunch of them on the table in recent weeks. A mid-season tournament, a postseason play-in tournament, maybe even reducing the 82-game regular season schedule. Now, all of these would be very bold moves, but Commissioner Adam Silver has always demonstrated a willingness to think outside the box. Kevin? VA, great assessment, good report. Thank you so much. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Leonard's got his fifth rebound in this one. A rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track. They're going to find a way to win. Pass to Zubac. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Zubac has got his third basket of the night. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. Here's Cook. He feeds it to Davis. Plays it in without an inch of room around him. And the Lakers lead by eight. That's just such good touch. I mean, with that length, Kevin, once he turns, he's got a shooting window that feels wide open. And the Clippers call time here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat break. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. The Lakers making a switch here. Caruso's checked in. Here's Leonard. 
rebounded by Howard. Well, next time he should do a better job, I think, of getting balanced and set up his feet. That just throws your body way out of whack and hurts your percentages. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. Williams dishes to Beverly. Leonard against Caldwell Pope. Looking to get back on track here. And there's the nice layup by Leonard. And Leonard's got four points this quarter. And you know he's so good coming off the pick and roll. But what do you have to take away? There's so many ways Leonard can hurt you offensively. For three, Caldwell Pope. The Clippers grab the miss. Frozen. Guys just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Runs in there, the Lakers lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Leonard. So money on the catch and shoot. I don't know what the defense is doing there, giving Kawhi that shot. Caruso kicks to Bradley. To the middle, here's Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Here's Williams, and they pick up two. Well, it's such a challenge trying to alter anything that Lou Williams does just because you're on your heels most of the time. Caruso, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Howard kicks to Bradley. Davis looking for an opening. Shot clock at six. Caldwell Pope on the way. Fires from deep. Green with the rebound. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Here's Caruso. From downtown. No good on the last second attempt there. The third quarter comes to a close. Lakers lead by five. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. Well, this has been a great contest so far. And I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Mo Harkless. And it's Harrell in at the five down low. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Well, not a road runner with his speed, but Green really has an understanding of how to execute and get wide on the break. Leonard against Green. Now here's Leonard. He's guarded closely. To the inside, Hero. And no good that time. And it's the Lakers the other way. Green in the post. Leonard's there. James. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Just shake your head at the size of LeBron James. And once he gets into the paint and gets pinballed around, gets that contact and finds free throws. No good on the free throw. And the Clippers making a switch here. Shamit's checked in. The Lakers also changing it up. JaVale McGee comes in for Avery Brown. Arjan Rondo subbed in for Alex Caruso. Second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. About 
Montrez Harrell and the type of energy and effort that he brought last year to this team to help solidify, I guess, most of the culture piece of what Steve Ballmer wants this franchise to be about. That's playing hard, playing with energy, and having some enthusiasm for the competition. Montrez Harrell wraps all those things up pretty nicely in the way he plays. Green, the pass to Davis. McGee trying to break free. And it's Davis missing. Clippers trail by seven. Right side, Leonard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on JaVale McGee. Uh, he's one of the most uniquely built players in the NBA. And Kawhi Leonard draws contact often. I'm not sure he feels it, but he gets it. Both shots good from the strike. And Montrez Hero, Brent, beloved in the locker room. Well, he's beloved because every night when you go out on the floor with him, you know what you're going to get. A guy who is incredibly competitive, passionate, knows his role, and plays with a physical presence that he doesn't shy away from anybody that's on the floor. That's infectious. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Harkless with the steal. Now, here's Shannon. Covered by LeBron. That really is just Glenn. It's good. This game is all even. Leonard's got five points now this quarter. Now, Kawhi does damage in the mid-range from the inside and gets challenged to make threes. But he can do that, too. James looking it over. Over Harkless. And the Lakers with another miss. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Harrell, the pass to Beverly. Pocket six to take the lead. Back to Harrell. And blocked the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. For the Lakers. Clippers only have eight points total. Lou Williams on the floor. Picked up by Danny Green. Like Anthony Davis may have gotten a piece of that. James to Davis. To Michael Green is there. Pass to Green. Down low. Here's James. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And that's 17 points for LeBron. Uh, and that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close, he's getting the ball. And the Clippers call time here. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He told them they have to pick it up. He said there's no time like the present, fellas. Embrace the moment. And let's take back this game. Let's see what they can do, Kevin. Thanks, David. Here's Beverly, uses the glass to finish the layup. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Outside, Green. Passes it to McGee. Outside, Rondo. Here's Davis. It's hauled in by Zubac. Zubac has got his sixth rebound on the night. Side Leonard. Now the pass to Shamit. Now here's Hopeless. He's guarded by Davis. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. 
a wild kick like that is questionable and, and creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Well, AD defining the word clutch on that one. Huge shot there. That's the Zubac. Back to Beverly. Pass to Shaman. Now here's Leonard. Headed by Green. Just five on the clock. Goes up on the wing. Another one falls for the Clippers. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. James with it. Stolen by Zubac. To the paint to take the lead. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Beverly. 21 points for Leonard. And who do you call when you need a big bucket for this team more and more? It's Kawhi. The drive by James, and it's good. That bucket takes him to 9 for 14. And LeBron James is going to take every crucial possession over. Outstanding shot there. Over in the corner, Beverly. Back to Leonard. Leonard's got 11 here in this quarter alone. I mean, Dwight Leonard, an MVP candidate. Why? Well, they're the reasons right there. One of the best two-way players we've seen in the past five years. Kicks it out to LeBron. And they double up James. Here's McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. A vision by LeBron, always willing to give up the ball. They're just hitting a wide-open teammate. Missing. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Leonard against James. It's in! That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. And the Clippers call time here. They trail by two. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hand. Lou Williams has checked in for the Clippers. Leonard against Green. Shot on the wing. The shot. No good. And the Lakers go on the other way now. They've led by as much as 10. James, no good. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And the Clippers call time here. They're behind by two. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. The effect, guys. Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. Well, they just need a solid play right now, and Coach going through his index cards to find one to get something going. And they commit an intentional foul. You'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. You know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Here's James, and now we've got the intentional foul. That's for two. Good D by LeBron. And 
so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging... All right, David, thank you. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony... Nice job of the Lakers in transition D here. Williams tries to move out there from the defender for his Troy Daniels, who picks up the foul. Daniels coming from Phoenix. Here's a look at the 32-year-old Lou Williams, who, along with Montrez Harrell, have the highest tandem scoring and one team off the bench in the league. LeBron will leave Quinn Cook. Will come in and facilitate in the absence. There's Williams with the shot and foul on the play. He is so good. <laughs> he is so good. I mean, he seeks out contact. He can shoot at odd angles. You see there, the three times six man of the year.